First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the occupation in this truth and sincerity, Bashim Rukakwadash. This video is inspired after a conversation that I had with one of my co-workers. And us brothers in this truth, we believe that you know messages are are sent to us even from people who are without okay you know this is a spiritual walk we don't know we don't know we just compare spiritual things you know with spiritual things you know with movies or or pictures or or things like that we we perceive all things you know even if someone comes up to you and tells you something you're like hey you know what that was spiritual that was wise I, you know i i could uh take from that you know and basically basically uh you know my uh my co-worker said to be a little bit more sociable you know, and, you know, at, at, some may, some may say at, at the first thought, you know, to that would be like, well, who are you? You know, you're, you're not in this truth. I don't got to talk to you. I don't got to acknowledge you or whatnot. But at the same time, you know, on the other hand, I should say, you know, we do got to be a little bit more sociable. You know, we do got to, you know, be wise as serpents and gentle as doves, you know. We have to learn how to get in and get out, okay, in our workplaces, you know, at the store and wherever we frequent. We have to be careful, you know, not to have disdain for people or look down upon people or any of those things. We have to, you know, of, you know, of course, in balance, you know, there's some people that, you know, you just can't acknowledge, you know, neither am I saying, you know, to be unequally yoked. I'm just saying that, you know, certain times you have to, you know, learn to be sociable, learn to, you know, be hospitable, you know, so... I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures and Lord willing, um, this be character building for brothers, you know, like it was for me. Okay. Cause I pondered upon what he had said and, and he made, it made a lot of sense. You know, sometimes I myself can be real, like closed off, you know what I mean? And I don't really speak to people, you know, be really, you know, on that to myself to, to a point where it's kind of like to a fault, you know, but this is a uh, Colossians four and five. It says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time right we have to walk with wisdom towards them that are without okay though and those that are without are meaning those that are without this truth okay those that have not been called into the knowledge we have to walk with wisdom you know redeeming the time you know making making use of the time you know because you know you have to be circumspect you have to be careful you know there's opportunities you know among people you know to do good you know, to, to be an example. Okay. It says, let your speech be always with grace, right? We have to always speak with grace, man. You know, we have to always speak with, uh, you know, in, in a way to, uh, to, uh, somewhat uplift, if you will, or, you know, if that's the right word, let your speech be always with grace. Okay. Season with salt, right? You have to know how to speak. You have to, you know, be graceful, you know, <clears throat> like a beautiful dance, you know, when you, you know how to come into a room, you know, you know how to say, hey, you know, how's it going? How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, good. Okay, cool. You know, I'll see you in a minute. I'm about to go, you know, whatever the case may be. Let our speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. Okay. So we have, we have to know how to answer every man, you know, especially, you know, if, you know, and I'm going to say this on a case by case basis, like if somebody you know, were to know that you knew about the Bible or if you spoke about the Bible to somebody, there might be an opportunity. You know, you might redeem the time to speak about something, but your conversation has to be with, with grace and with salt. OK, it can't always be just, you know, slam the gavel or, or just tell somebody you're going to eat a missile, you know, within the first two minutes of conversation. No. You know what I mean? And that's, like I said, a case by case basis, because you really have to be looking for this truth for us to speak about it. We're not going to lay hands on no man suddenly. But nonetheless, on the other side, the flip side to that coin, you know, let your sp let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, you know, and salt is, is flavor, you know, that you may know how to how you ought to answer every man. So you have to know, you have to know how to answer every man, you know. Some men who are maybe looking for the truth or some men who are just co-workers. They're just people you frequent at the store. People you just, you know, wherever you may be, the dentist, whatever the case. Okay. So, right. And the, you may know how to answer every man. We have to be wise and know how to answer people. Know how to, you know, speak. Know how to talk, you know, with grace and with salt. 
Okay, this is First Thessalonians 4 and 12. It says that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, right? Walking honestly, you know, make sure that while you're speaking, you know, to those that are without, you know, while you're around them, that you're walking honestly, you're, out, you're walking upright, okay? You're not walking and, you know, that the ministry may be blamed, like, oh, he's one of them Israelite guys, they don't, they don't know how to talk, they don't know how to act, they don't know how to this, that, and third. No, you can't be doing that, you know? You have to walk honestly toward them that are without, that you may have lack of nothing, right? That you may have lack of nothing, that you may be perfect, you know, that you don't lack anything. There's no chinks in your armor, so to speak. Okay, this is uh, Titus 2 and 8. It says, sound speech that cannot be condemned, right? You have to have sound speech, man. You know, you have to be speaking you know, uh, you know, with, with, uh, you know, according to this word, so to speak, you know, always having that word. What did Paul say? He's like, you know, he was all things to all men. So you have to have sound speech. It says that cannot be condemned and that, that he that is of the, the contrary part may be ashamed. Right. So when somebody does say something about you, they may be ashamed when they start to see what you're really about. When you do start to speak to them, you know, if you're one of them brothers who are little, to themselves, you know, when they do finally start to get to know you or speak to you, they say, hey, man, you know what? This guy, he's, you know, he's, he's a good guy. You know, he, he's, 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 stand, he's a stand-up guy, you know, and, and he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you, right? So our, our behavior, the way our, the, our deportment, the way we conduct ourselves is supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be seasoned, you know, with grace, sound speech, you know, know how to answer. You know, that those that see us and finally get to know us and finally get to speak to us, that, that you know, the first thought is, hey, man, that guy is real austere. He's real quiet. He's real, you know, serious or whatever the case. But when they start to see getting to know you, you know, even starting, to, you know, striking up a conversation that they may see like, hey, man, you know what? Ah, man, I was wrong. I shouldn't have said that about this guy. I have nothing. I have really nothing to say against this guy and that they may feel a certain type of way, you know, because, you know. I'm going to say this, you know, and one of the brothers um, that went into a video talking about how we are austere and we live simple lives and we are austere. You know, we, you know, we are for the most part serious. You know, we're not, we're not just, you know, joking and laughing and, you know, we're, you know, we're reserved. We're, you know, watching, observing and trying to make the right moves. And because, you know, we were hold to a certain type of standard, you know, we're, we're not just rioting in the daytime. Just no, you know, but some people think that that's, you know, you're, if, you know, they get put off by it, you know what I mean? So, you know, this is just a video, you know, to add some balance. Okay. If you will. So from here, let's, let's get the, uh, let's get first Peter two and 12. It says, This is 1 Peter 2 and 12, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, right? Your sound speech and conversation. Conversation meaning your behavior. Let's look it up real quick. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles. Let's look this word up, honest. Salaka. Lord willing, I can look it up. Let's see. Having your con anastrophe, yeah. Shoot. Strong's G391. Anastrafe. Anastrafe. Manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. Right. That's your manner of life. Honest among the Gentiles. Your conduct, your behavior, your speech, the way you answer. You know, you can't be ISUPK in it everywhere you go. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it's a lot. Having, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High in the day of visitation. Okay? So, yeah, you have to have your behavior, your conduct, your deportment honest among the Gentiles. So, we have to conduct ourselves that is upright. You know, that they may see, 
you know, and be ashamed and say, you know what, man, I was wrong about them Israelites, you know, I was wrong about that guy. This is that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they, sh they shall behold, right? Because you're supposed to, you know, be, you know, supposed to be careful to maintain good works, which they shall behold. They're supposed, you know, they're going to see it. They should, they, you know, you're going to, you're going to uh, display it and they will see your good works shall uh, uh, behold, glorify the most high in the day of visitation, right? You know, they're, they're supposed to, they're supposed to see the most high in you, man. You know, they're, they're, they're supposed to say, hey, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is with that man. You know, hey, guy, you know. You know, that's why, that's why sometimes, you know, you do good deeds and, you know, you conduct yourself a certain way. You got people saying, oh, hey, man, hey, God bless you, man. Hey, man, may, may, may God be with you. You know, people are supposed to, they're supposed to see that. They're supposed to be like that. You're supposed to provoke people to, to, to actually see the most high in you, okay? So that was it, you know, just a little uh, lesson, you know, everything... You know, in our walk, we, we we see it as spiritual. There's messages that are going out, you know, toward to brothers all the time, you know, and, and we have to just, you know, know how to pick these messages up and put them, bring them into our, our walk, you know, bring them into our lives so that we can know how to conduct ourselves and walk more, more better. Okay. So there was just something that, you know, was said to me and um, Lord willing, it was edifying to another brother, you know, because sometimes, you know, we, 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 uh, we can be a little standoffish, okay? And, uh, you know, at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that because there is, you know, a lot of um, people, you know, that are just really, you know, enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yashai that we, we avoid. But, you know, there's also other people that we can we can deal with, you know, and when we deal with them, we have to deal with them um, upright and be a little bit more, um, you know, open to uh, and you know, portraying good works that they may see these things and, 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 you know, ultimately glorify the most high by our, you know, by our example, because we are Israelites, we are sons of the most high and we know, okay, we know the Lord has, you know, opened up these, these secrets to our minds. So, you know, we have a, um, you know, we're ambassadors, you know, so I just wanted to bring this out when it was edifying, like I said, this was a character building lesson. Okay. Until the next time I want to say, Shalom.